Hello everyone, I hope you and your families are safe. Today we are going to start the first lesson for this chapter, Pivot Animator. Some instructions for this lesson. This is the first lesson for this chapter. Secondly, lesson can be found on your book page 79 till 82. Please do not forget to read the book for more detailed information over this topic. If you have any question, please feel free to write me at my email. Also, you may write your concerns on Google Classroom. Reminder, all the assignments should be submitted in Google Classroom. So, think, what is an animation? Animation is the process of designing, drawing, making layouts and preparation of photographic sequences which are integrated in the multimedia and gaming products. Animation involves the management of images to generate the illusion of movement. A person who creates animation is called animator. Animators use various computer technologies to capture and steal images and then to animate these in desired sequence. Animation is the illusion of movement created by showing a series of still pictures in rapid succession. In the world of computers, graphic softwares are used to create this effect. What is multimedia? Multimedia is the term used to represent combination of visual and audio materials gathered from various resources and then added into one single combination. A multimedia product can be sets of text, graphic arts, sounds, animations and videos. Precisely, the term multimedia is used to refer visual and audio materials into a single common presentation which can be played in a computer including CD-ROM or digital video, internet or web technology, streaming audio or video, and also data projection system. Now, what is a pivot animator? The pivot animator is designed to be a user-friendly user way of creating 2D stick man animations. It is an application that allows users to create stick figure or sprite animation and then save them in the animated GIF format for use on web pages and the AVI format. The basic concept is that stick figures can be easily moved and positioned by dragging handles. An animation is made up of frames added to the timeline, which are shown at the top of the screen. This can require more time to create a smooth animation than it does in Flash, for example, because Pivot doesn't support the frame twinning. This, however, makes Pivot very easy to use and gives the animator full control over figure movement. New stick figures can be created in the figure builder so that any object can be created and animated. An animation can be exported in a number of common formats for use on web pages or for uploading to the YouTube. With enough time and effort, some very advanced animation can be created with Pivot, despite its relative simplicity. How can we download and install Pivot Animator? The first step, you are going to open your web browser. The second step, you are going to search for the given URL, pivotanimator.net. The third step, you are going to open the website and you are going to search for the download section. In the download section, you are going to find out the file Pivot Animator 4.2.8. You are going to download this file. Step 4. You are going to install the downloaded file. So, Pivot Animator Now we are going to talk about the interface of Pivot Animator. 
Firstly, we are just going to mention the main components of Pivot Animator and then we are going to analyze one by one. So firstly, we are going to have the main menus of Pivot Animator such as the File, Edit, Help. Also, you are going to deal with the timeline and also you are going to add and also delete different frames of your animation. Also, you may have some functions or some options such as the play and stop the animation and also if you want to loop your animation. Again, we may say that the, your figure uh, may be updated and uh, all the properties of this figure may be changed by using the selected figure options. Now we are going to discuss the interface and the components of Pivot Animator. So the first component is the timeline. So this part here, this component is called the timeline. What is a timeline? A timeline is a presentation of a chronological sequence of events along a drawn line that enables the viewer to understand temporal relationships quickly. A frame is a uniquely defined a combination by a combination of the image to be displayed and the time the image is to be displayed. A sequence of frames make an animation. Each frame is displayed on the screen until the next frame overrides it. Since each frame remains displayed on the screen for a tiny but finite time period, you can now think of an animation as frames displayed at discrete intervals of time in a continuous sequence. As you can see, near the frame, we have three different icons. So the first one stands for deleting the selected frame, the second one to copy a frame, and the last one is paste the frame, so pasting the copied frame. Below, we may find these three options here. The first one is playing your animation after creating it. Then we have stop to stop uh, the animation after playing it. And we have the loop. So what is the uh, usage of loop? Looping an animation uh, will cause it to be repeated. Okay, so we are going to have a repeated uh, animation. Here we have the background and add the figure. So the background, you may add an image as the background for your animation. And then we have add the figure to be part, so to add another figure beside your figure uh, to be part of your animation. Below we may find this uh, small section here, which is a uh, selected figure. So if you select the figure, okay, after the figure is selected, you may use different properties over this figure. For example, we may use this option here, which is responsible for the transparency of your figure. Here, we may find the uh, option to delete our figure. We have the option to edit the figure. Here, we may use the center the figure and a flip mirror figure, so to flip the image. Then we have the figure colors, if you want to change the color of your figure. And here we have to join or unjoy figure uh, to each other. And we have the raise and also the lower uh, image. Then we have the copy, to copy the image uh, or to copy the figure. Uh, and also we have the paste, uh, the copied part uh, of your image. Also, at the last part, we had add a frame. So if you select add a frame, it will be already added into the timeline, okay? So if I change the position of this figure, so if I move it here and I'm going to add another frame, as you can see, the position of my figure is different in both of the frames. So let us change again the position of my figure and add the frame. Let us change it again, move it here, add the frame, and uh, I may stop creating uh, my animation. So I may play it. And as you can see, my figure will change the position. Okay, so the first position is this one. Then it will go here. Then we have the position 
here and the last one will be at the left part of our screen. Let us stop this one. Okay, so uh, this is the interface of the pivot animator and the main components uh, of the pivot animator are those that we have discussed in this part here. Now, the file menu. So in the file menu, we may find different options, such as new uh, to create a new project, a new animation, and we have the shortcut Control and N. We have an open animation, so opening an existing animation, Control and O. We have the save animation and save as animation to save your changes. So we we have the export animation, uh, control and D, then we have the load background and load sprite images. So to upload different backgrounds or images from your device. Then we have the load uh, figure type and also create figure type. Load figure type, it means that you are going to upload uh, a figure that you have created before. And create figure type, it means that you are going to start creating a new figure. And the last one is the exit, which closes the program. We have the edit menu. Into the edit menu, we may find the undo, control and Z, redo, control and Y. Then we have select all figures. So if you have more than one figure and you want to select them, you may use this option here or just use the shortcut control and A. We have the duplicate figures and instead of this option, we may also use the control and D. Also, we have different options according to the project and also the program that we are using. Last menu is the help. Here we may find answers for all of the questions and problems that we may find during creating a different animation in Pivot Animator. Now, it's for this time. So we are going uh, to create two different simple animations. So uh, at the first one, we are just going to use the main bas basic options for, uh, for the animation. And at the second one, we are going to also use uh, changing the color and also using uh, duplicating uh, frames or duplicating, um, duplicating frames. This is the second example that we are going to create.
Okay, thank you for your attention. This is the end of our topic. If you have any question, you may write me at my email or on Google Classroom. Have a nice day. Thank you.